Hey guys, Brian Boer with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, and as promised, here's the monthly market update, this time for the Fargo-Moorhead area uh, for February of 2017. So what we're gonna do today is just a quick year-over-year -year comparison of January numbers. Uh, doing year-over-year is kind of gives you a good idea of the market trend, um, so then we'll know what to expect for February and going forward. Uh, so basically, let's blow through the facts here real quick. In January in 2016, there was 886 active listings on the Fargo-Moorhead MLS. We added 358 new listings during the month of January and sold 169 properties, which means there's 5.25 months of inventory. Now you figure out months of inventory by looking at how many available properties there are for sale. And if you kept selling them at that rate for that month, how long it would take for that inventory to basically be depleted. Now this number down here, 3.34 months of inventory, uh, that's a number that I figured out just kind of on my own for properties just under $200,000. So I took the, the active listings under $200,000, figure out the solds under $200,000, crunched it together. So under $200,000 in January of 2016, uh, the absorption rate is what it's called, was 3.34 months of inventory. Now let's skip ahead to January 2017, just last month. We had 1,007 active listings on the Fargo-Moorhead MLS. We added 409 new listings, sold 162 properties, which factors down to 6.22 months of inventory. And if we look at it just under 200,000, 3.48 months of inventory. So here's kind of the big trends that I'm seeing. Holy buckets, is there a lot more inventory this year uh, than last year, you know, well over a hundred more properties. On top of that, we're adding uh, to our inventory quicker than we were in 2016. Now, that's a good news if you're a buyer, not the best news if you're a seller. We're still selling at roughly the same rate. So, I mean, you do the math, it's kind of supply and demand. They're selling at the same rate, but there's more properties to choose from. Supply and demand, that means prices should be, they're not necessarily going down, but properties aren't selling as quick and as crazy as they were maybe last year. Um, the other thing though that I do want to point out is under 200,000, these numbers are very, very similar. Now, if you were a buyer for a property under $200,000 last year, you probably remember a little bit of a nightmare as far as stuff coming on and selling within a couple hours even sometimes, uh, multiple offers, competing offers, stuff like that. So this number is not very different. So if you are still in the Fargo-Moorhead area looking for a property under $200,000, expect a lot more of that headache that was going on uh, last year. Uh, on the flip side, if you're a seller for a property under $200,000, you can still expect really good results. So another thing to look at, this is under $200,000. So above $200,000, the months of inventory has to be you know, well above five. Figure the same thing here, probably well above six. Now keep that in mind if you have properties over $200,000, uh, you're getting in the price range, as we mentioned in previous videos, where people now have the option to buy an existing house for $250,000, $350,000, or work with a builder in Fargo and build a brand new house. And, and honestly, there's a lot of really good builders in the Fargo-Moorhead area, and that's kind of the reason why this number isn't adding up to this number. That's kind of what, what's going on there. There's stuff selling really quick under $200,000 and then there's a little bit of a bubble, uh, especially between 250 and 400 because that's the price range where people really start having a lot more options. Do I want to buy something existing or do I want to build? Uh, if you build, obviously you have so many more choices. You can pick your own layout. You can pick what area you want to live in. Um, just, just a lot of choices when you build. So that's what's going on there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. Also, if you find this uh, information useful to you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you know someone that you think would be uh, someone that you think could benefit from this information, please share it with them on social media. Um, and feel free to leave comments, suggestions, likes. Always looking for ideas for future videos, so I definitely appreciate it. Until then, we'll see you guys with the March update here just coming up in a few weeks. Thanks.